Okay guys, it is time for a new update here on the Bitcoin price. We are not only going to take a look at Bitcoin, but also Ethereum today. Besides that, I want to give you an update on my trades because I just closed my Ethereum short position. I will tell you exactly why I closed it. Besides that, we are still remaining in our big Bitcoin short that is in a total profit of approximately $100,000 at the moment. $58,000 in unrealized profit, $74,000 in realized profit. So we are well above actually $100,000 in profit here with that trade. Besides Besides that, we are still remaining in our small swing long position. What are the plans with that? I will update you in today's video. We are also going to take a look at two very interesting on-chain datas. Or it's not an on-chain data. This is an on-chain data. And the other one is actually something very, very interesting. We are going to take a look at the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies today because there is an amazing, crazy similarity between the bear market in 2014 to the bull run in 2018 and the current bear market and bull run so let's take a look at that at the end of the video besides that like i said i will give you an update on my trades and what we need to expect now from the cryptocurrency prices first of all guys i want to give out a quick warning ftx guys is completely bankrupt 134 other related companies also went bankrupt with it alameda research for sure but this is not the warning you probably already know that guys ftx a few hours ago, it's rumored that Sam is now on the run. The remaining funds that FTX had got hacked. They are all gone from the exchange. It's most likely an insider drop in combination with the rumors that he's actually fleeing right now. It could might as well be him himself that took these remaining funds to go on the run besides that guys ftx don't touch the website anymore don't touch the app anymore it is infected with malware so guys just stay away from it in total right now i'm very sorry for anyone that lost money with it i never talked about ftx i never talked about any sam bankman freed projects or anything like that luckily here on this channel so i hope nobody in my community is involved but nevertheless guys don't touch it if you for some reason are involved with your personal funds sadly in this whole situation. Besides that guys, now let's talk about the charts. As always, I really appreciate it if you would smash up a like here on today's video. My last video almost reached the 1000 thumbs up. Maybe we can reach the 1000 thumbs up here on today's video. Besides that, as always, as said, I will give you an update on my trades. If you are interested in using the information out of my videos for your own trades, make sure to sign up with my BitGet affiliate link in the video description down below. You are supporting me by that. You are getting 20% reduced fees with my link. With that, you will have the lowest fees possible for the active trading of cryptocurrencies in the market. And on top of that, we are hosting trading tournaments every month for all the people that are signed up with my affiliate link. Last month, it was a $20,000 tournament the month before that it was a ten thousand dollar trading tournament for this month we don't have a trading tournament yet but probably for december i will try to organize you guys a massive big event so make sure to check it out but now guys let's not talk too much let's just jump right into the charts for bitcoin there's something very interesting happening at the moment oh i have low battery here i just see the notification that is not good nine percent okay let's hope i can finish the video with these remaining nine percent of battery here on my uh, macbook but what we can see, guys, is something very amazing. Bitcoin is forming a falling wedge. For sure, we don't have a confirmed breakout yet, but this is what I'm taking a look at here on the one hourly time frame right now. What we want to see is a break above it. We want to see a retest of the old resistance and then a break of the old high point. What am I going to do if this potential bullish scenario here plays out i will show you exactly also in combination with a few other chart patterns that then can potentially play out on the bigger time frames if we see this breakout to the upside and guys this is also the reason why i actually closed my ethereum trade i thought okay the markets they are holding up quite good we see on ethereum that actually on the daily time frame we are remaining above our very crucial horizontal support and resistance zone here between the $1,240 and $1,280 level. We are remaining above it for now on the daily candles. So this is a nice sign. I don't want to be exposed to too much short risk here at the moment. And I have a very amazing Bitcoin short already $100,000 in a profit. So I don't really need to have too much more short interest, short exposure open in the markets right now. I'm rather looking to actually scale up my swing long positions as soon as possible no matter if we are falling lower or pumping so let's take a look at the different scenarios if we are breaking it to the upside we are breaking this old high point after the breakout and after the retest then i am actually going to take another 
uh, profits, I will take uh, more profits of our Bitcoin short position. And when am I going to scale up my swing long position finally? When am I going to close my short completely? For this, I want to jump onto the four hourly time frame. And what we can see here is a potential W pattern. If we are able to break out here successfully out of this falling wedge, which Guys, everything is news-based. There could be a news on Twitter any moment which pulls the price down crazy, so keep that in mind. But if we, are managed, uh, if we manage to break out here to the upside, get a confirmed breakout, I would take another portion of profits as soon as Bitcoin is able to close a four-hourly candle above the $17,500 level. That would be another moment where I would take profits for my short position for now. Because if we are having a successful W breakout, it is highly likely that Bitcoin at least will retest the $19,300 level where we have our big bear flag on the four hourly and also on the daily time frame. I can show you in a second if you don't remember. But besides that, we need to keep in mind that Bitcoin is right now directly below. And let me remove these lines so it's not too confusing and we don't have uh, too many lines in the charts. We need to keep in mind that Bitcoin right now is exactly getting rejected from our old previous wick. As I said, we need to break above the 17,500. As you can see, the first time when we fell into the range of $17,000, this bear market, it was exactly the 17,500 to approximately $18,000 level here where we wicked and we where we found support. This support turned now into resistance. So we definitely see, we need to see that Bitcoin is able to recover above that level with a daily candle. If we are closing a daily candle above the 17500 to $18,000 level, that would mean that I'm closing the remaining size most likely of my short position or I'm taking almost all of the remaining profits and once that happens, I will actually go ahead and also double up my swing long position because in that case, I assume that there's a high likelihood of us as said, as especially reaching like at least the $19,300 level. So I want to have a bigger long swing position already in place just in the case that this already was the bottom. We don't get any more insolvencies from other crypto companies and the worst is over now already. So this is why we are keeping our liquidation price far below the $14,000 level. We are staying in our short position for now, but we have the exact price levels and scenarios in mind where we are taking, where we are going to take profits out of our short, where we are going to scale up our swing long positions. And as always, I'm sharing you this information up front. So as always, make sure to subscribe, activate the bell, smash up a like, if you want to use the information from my videos, sign up on BitGet with my affiliate link. You are supporting me by that. You're getting 20% reduced fees. Then you have the lowest fees on the market on any exchange for the active trading of cryptocurrency. So just keep that in mind. And you just support me by that, which I appreciate a lot. But now all, let's also talk about here the, the other scenarios. And let's talk about the total market cap, which is also showing us right now that the worst may be over very, very soon. Because in 2014, 2015, we saw our all-time high. We saw a dump. We saw small consolidation on the monthly time frame. We saw a low. We saw a higher low. We saw a break above the old all-time high, right? We saw a rounding retest and we saw after we broke the old high point, as always, a massive run up to the upside. This was all happening on a relatively small time scale, right? A, a, a relatively a small uh, percentage, uh, uh, not percentage, on a re relatively small dollar value compared to the dollar moves that we are doing right now. So everything is a lot uh, smaller because this is here not the logarithmic uh, chart, but the, the normal one. So what we can see here is that the total market cap may be extremely relevant for traders, even more relevant than maybe the Bitcoin price itself, because it's, pro uh, it's very likely that actually a lot of the big whales and the big players in the market are taking a look at the total market cap instead of only Bitcoin. We are actually going to take a look now regularly in my videos also at the total market cap but what we can see is that something very similar is happening right now um, with our price development so far we can see we have our all-time high we see a small consolidation here three months consolidation we see a low we see a higher low we see a break to the upside now everything happens with a lot more volume a lot more price movement right that's why also here this rounding top is a lot bigger because the, uh, the, the there was a lot more people already interested in cryptocurrencies a lot more people were active in the space uh, and we saw also a lot of these huge head funds over leveraging everything and pumping everything artificially more or less right that now all went bankrupt over this year. <laughs> Funny enough, okay, whatever. Not so nice for the cryptocurrency space, sadly, but probably without them, we would never pump that high, but okay. Um, we saw this massive pump. Now we are seeing the retest of the old all-time high. We need to keep in mind that we saw a wick 
way into the old all-time high, which so far we haven't seen on the total market cap yet. So as I said, it is very possible that we see another 20% dump from the prices we are at right now. It is not unlikely. So I just want to make sure that you just keep in mind for your long swing positions, I'm keeping my leverage low. I'm keeping my liquidation price before uh, below $14,000. And we need to break significant levels to the upside, like the 27,000 and so on, before we can really turn bullish in the markets again and start moving our liquidation prices way higher, maybe only below $20,000 and so on and so on. Besides that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video now. As said, make sure to subscribe for Ethereum. I'm just keeping an eye still on the $1,325 level as we have been talking for the last couple of days for Ethereum. $1,325 level. That's the relevant level we need to break for the upside. For Bitcoin, I already told you the exact scenarios that I'm keeping an eye on right now. And besides that, if we are just falling now to the downside, I am remaining in my short positions and I only plan then to take profits as soon as we are going below 16000 and especially into the $15,000, low $15,000 range. That would be the, the, the time where I would again take profits of my uh, short position and start scaling up my swing long a little bit. The nearer we go to $14,000, the more aggressive I would actually scale up my swing long. But besides that, I hope you enjoyed the content. As always, subscribe, activate the bell, go to the video description down below, sign up with my BitGet affiliate link. You are supporting me by that. You are receiving the highest fee reduction in the market at the moment. So you will have the lowest fees uh, possible in the market for trading cryptocurrencies actively if you're using my affiliate link and I'm getting a little bit of the fees that you are paying anyways to BitGet. So I have uh, just a little bit of a benefit that you are using my affiliate link. And on top of that, you have a lot of benefits like lower fees, uh, up to $4,000 first time deposit bonuses. We do trading tournaments each month. As I said, guys, last month it was a $20,000 tournament. 20 people signed up with my affiliate link were able to win $1,000. Um, uh, the month before it was $10,000 tournament. And it's always the top traders by profit and loss. So percentage. So even with a small portfolio, you can win. And on the other hand, it's the top 10 traders by trading volume. So the big people that are trading a lot are also receiving a small little bonus. Although with the trading volume, some of them have probably a thousand dollars is not so interesting for them. But still, guys, it's just fun and uh, probably nice to uh, have a little bit of competition as well. But guys, we are going to see us in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. We're going to see us. Bye. Bye.